What's up world, Matt here. And today we're gonna to be practicing the English of buying and selling things in a store. First, I want you to look at this picture here. What kind of a store do you think this is? Yeah, I agree with you. I think it could be a mobile phone accessory store, maybe a technology store or an electronics store if they have other types of technology or electronics. This might be a big electronics store, or it could be a small shop. Maybe it's a small shop inside of another supermarket or a department inside of a bigger store. Nice. So I also want you to think, what kinds of objects and products do you think this shop sells? That's great that you're already thinking about some of the things you might be able to buy and sell in a shop like this. Things like a cell phone, a case, a charger, a cable, maybe even some Bluetooth speakers or headphones. Nice. Okay, one last question while we're thinking about this store. If you were inside of this store, maybe you go there as a customer or maybe you're working there as an employee, what kinds of questions do you think people ask in a store like this? If you were standing there listening, what are some of the things you might hear in English as people talk in this cell phone accessory store? Nice, those are some great examples of things people might actually say. Okay, now we're going to listen to a conversation from this mobile accessories store. And as we're listening, I want you to try and answer some questions based on what you understand. As you listen, I want you to think about this chart right here. This audio is a conversation about a customer trying to buy two things at a cell phone accessory store. I want you to listen and think, what is the first object? And does the customer buy it? And what is the second object they ask about and does the customer buy it? Afterwards, we'll share our answers. What are the two objects? And yes or no, did they purchase either of these objects? All right, now sit back, listen, and let's see what we can understand from this conversation in a cell phone accessory store. Good morning, how can I help you? Good morning, I want to buy a case for my cell phone. This case is on sale, it's $10. I like it. Okay, anything else? Yes, I also want to buy a charger. Do you have this charger? Oh look, I'm sorry, we don't have it. Okay, I will just buy the case, please. Cash or credit? Cash, please. Here is your receipt. Thanks. Welcome. All right. Now, I want you to think about those questions I asked at the very beginning. First, what was the first object that the customer asked about? Yeah, it was a cell phone case. And did the customer actually purchase that object? Yeah, they did purchase that object. How about the second thing that they asked about? What was it? Yeah, they asked about a cell phone charger. And were they able to purchase a cell phone charger? No, they were not able to purchase a cell phone charger. Nice, great job listening to that conversation from this mobile phone accessories store and hearing people buying and selling things in English. For our next activity, I wanna practice five key words that are really helpful when buying and selling things in English. For starters, I'll show you a picture and ask you a yes or no question about one of these five keywords. And I want you to think, it, yes or no, is the picture that I'm showing you a match for the word that I'm saying? All right, let's look at this first picture. Is this on sale? Is this on sale? Yeah, this picture is connected to something being on sale. This picture shows a 50% discount. And when an item in a store is discounted, we can say it is on sale. The product is on sale. All right, next up. Is this cash? Is this cash? No, this is not cash. 
This is a credit card. This is one way to pay for a product or a service in a store. You can swipe a credit card or even tap it using wireless technology. Is this to buy? Is this the action of buying something? Yeah, these two people are at a store and they are buying something. This is buy. All right, how about this next picture? Is this cash? Yeah, this is a picture of cash. If you're not paying with credit, it's very likely that you're paying with cash. Cash is one common way that people in English refer to physical money, paper money that we use to buy things when we're at stores or shops. So you can say that, oh, are you going to pay with cash or credit? That might be a question that you ask if you're an employee working in one of these stores. All right, last keyword. Is this a receipt? Is this a receipt? Yeah, this is a receipt. This is a piece of paper that you often receive when you purchase a good or a service in a store. This receipt says the date and the time of the purchase. It might list the goods or services that were sold and also the price that was paid. This helps for your records of what goods and services you've paid for. And it also helps a business keep track of their own um, dealings with people so they can know what products they're selling and what products they need to order more of. All right, now I wanna practice these words again, but I'm gonna ask you a more challenging question. I'll show you a picture and I'm going to say, what is this? And I want you to try and remember the word and say it out loud. All right, ready? Let's go. What is this? Yeah, this is buy. It's the action of paying for something with cash or credit in a store and receiving a good or a service. This is buy. All right, next question. What is this? Yeah, this is on sale. It's when a product or a service has a discount and the price is lower. On sale. Nice. All right, question number three. What is this? Yeah, this is cash. It's physical money that we use to pay for goods or services. Cash. That's a common term. You might also hear people refer to it as money. But when I say cash, I know I'm talking about something physical and not just the idea of money that might be in a bank. Cash really refers to the physical paper that we're talking about. All right, question number four. What is this? Yeah, that's a receipt. It's a piece of paper that you receive that is a record of a purchase. And finally, question number five, what is this? Nice, you remembered all five words. That's credit. If I'm not going to pay for something with cash, I'm probably gonna use my card or even scan my phone and pay on credit. Credit is a promise that I will pay back later. Right? It's me getting loaned a credit or offered a good in exchange for future payment. Right? And we refer to that technology with these fancy things called credit cards. All right, nice words, job practicing those keywords. Let's see if we can use them to have some short conversations. Now, let's take these five keywords and practice using them to have short conversations, imagining that we're in a cell phone accessory store. I'll start by giving an example. I'm going to imagine that I'm a customer going to a cell phone accessory store and I want to buy these three accessories. I need a new cable, a new charger, and new headphones. I'm going to go in and talk as if I'm the customer. Now I'm going to have to imagine the other person talking and what they might say, but I'm going to focus on being one of the people in the conversation and we'll see what it sounds like to be a customer at a cell phone accessory store. So I want you to listen and pay attention to my model because after I give an example, I'm gonna have you try it out. Okay, so what are the things I want? A cable, a charger, and headphones. All right, let's go. 
Hi, do you sell cell phone accessories? Great, I need a new cable and charger for my phone. I have an iPhone and I need a lightning charger. Do you have a lightning charger for an iPhone? Nice, you have the charger and the cable? Great, is the charger and cable USB-C? I want the newest technology. Great, and what color is the charger and cable? Oh, they are black or white. Okay, I want the white ones. How much does the charger and cable cost together? Oh, that's a nice price. Are they on sale? Oh, that's why the price is so good. Excellent. Also, I was thinking of maybe getting some headphones. Do you have any good headphones? I want small headphones that I can put in my pocket. Do you have any small earbuds? Those look nice. How much are they? Ooh, that's very expensive. Are they not on sale? Okay, today I'm just going to buy the cable and charger. Maybe next week I'll come back when the headphones are on, on sale and we can talk then. Here's the $20. Uh, can I pay with cash? Excellent. And can I get a receipt in case I have any problems with the charger? All right. Thanks so much. Have a nice day. So that was me being a customer in a store. You could see that I asked some different questions about the details of the items I wanted to purchase, and I didn't need to buy everything. I could imagine that they told me that some of the items had a good price and I wanted to say yes and some of the items had a bad price and I wanted to say no. By imagining what the other person was saying, I could have that conversation by myself. Now, I'm gonna have you practice that same thing. I want you to imagine that you're going to a mobile accessories store and that you wanna buy these three items right here. What would you say to purchase those things? Now, if you're watching this video with a friend or you have someone close by who speaks English, it would be even better practice to do this as a real conversation. But if there's no one there, you can do it like I did and just imagine half of the conversation. Why don't you pause this video now and practice speaking as the customer trying to buy these three objects. Then when you're ready for even more challenge, come back to the video and I'll give you another example. The other side of the conversation I want us to think about in practice is that of the employee. What are the kinds of things that the person who's selling these accessories might say? So I want to imagine the same situation. There's a customer coming into a store and they want to purchase three things. Let's say this time they want to purchase headphones, a charger, and a case. But instead of me being the customer, I'm going to imagine that I'm the employee. So I need to ask questions to find these things out and then offer information. Let me show you what that looks like and then I'll give you a chance to practice being an employee too. Hi, welcome to Matt's Cell Phone Accessories. I'm Matt, how can I help you? Sure thing, we have lots of cell phone accessories for sale. What are you looking for today? Okay, you need headphones, a charger, and a case. Let's start with the case. What type of phone do you have? Oh, we have the case for that. Do you have the seven or the eight? Okay, the eight, great. We have even more of those cases because it's newer. Do you want a pink case, a green case, or a blue case? That's a nice choice. That's the one I choose too. Uh, this case is $10. How does that sound? It's not on sale right now, but it's a very affordable case. Okay, I'll put it right here. Also, you said you wanted a charger. What type of plug does your phone have? Do you need a USB-C charger, a micro USB charger, or a lightning charger? Okay, a USB-C charger. I just got some new ones in. I have a regular USB-C charger and that's also $10, but I also have a USB-C fast charger and it will charge your phone even faster. 
It's originally $20, but it's on sale right now for 18. So would you rather have the regular charger for $10 or the fast charger for 18? I think that's a good choice. I want the fast charger too. All right, last up, you said you want headphones. Do you want headphones with a wire or headphones that are wireless? Okay, we can show you the wire headphones. They're a little bit less expensive. Um, you got a blue case. Do you also want some blue headphones? I have some blue headphones that are the same color as the case. Okay, great. The headphones are $15. So the headphones, the case, and the fast charger together comes out to $43. Let's make it a deal and say $40 even. How does that sound for these three cell phone accessories? Great. Do you want to pay with cash or credit? All right, I'll put all your details here and just swipe your card. Thanks so much. And do you want your receipt in paper or can I email it to you? All right, type in your email and I'll send you your receipt. Thanks so much. All right, so that was my example of me selling items in a store. You can see that I added in some extra words and phrases. If you heard me say those and you were thinking, huh, don't worry. You can practice this conversation and just have a very basic conversation like in the audio we listened to. But if you're feeling ready with these words for more challenge, maybe try some of the things that I was doing, like offering two different products and trying to upsell somebody, or maybe even creating some kind of package discount. You have some words that I've used that might be able to help you try that out. So imagine that you're an employee working in Matt's cell phone accessory store, or you can use your own name too, and practice having the other half of this conversation as the employee for an, a customer who wants to buy headphones, a charger, and a case. Pause the video and come back when you finish practicing. The last thing I wanna leave you with is a homework assignment. Now, I know I'm inside of your computer, so I'm never going to know if you do this homework assignment, but I think it's a really good practice opportunity. My idea for you is, I think you should think, where is there a store near me where there's someone who speaks English at the store? Maybe you live near a touristic destination and there's someone working there who might speak English at a restaurant, a hotel, or a souvenir shop. Or maybe one of your friends works at a local store and you know they're studying English. My piece of homework for you is to go to a real store and try to actually buy something in English. This might feel weird if you and the other person both speak another language, but I think if you talk to that person and say, hey, I'm practicing English and I wanna try and have this conversation, I'm a little bit nervous, can I practice with you? You might be able to make a connection with another language learner and both be able to work together to practice. So. That's my homework for you. Think about where you could go to practice actually buying and selling something, and then go there and try to have a conversation using the keywords we've been practicing. Thanks so much, good luck practicing, and until next time, bye everybody.